Good morning, everybody. I was going to talk about me seeing my wife flip into an alternate personality right in front of my face. And then came to the yesterday because I was wondering, well, who's the handlers for all these people, right? Who's handling all this stuff? Where are they getting their information from? And uh, so pretty much I married my handler. I've been married to her for 18 years. Never knew it, but it explains quite a bit, quite a lot now. But so, you know, we're not supposed to get a divorce. So, and to be honest with you, I cast a demon out of her, I'm pretty sure. It ain't like I'm an expert at it because it would be the only one I've ever done so far, okay? But that one, when I was on that fast for three days, and on the third day is when all the stuff, I was seeing this stuff and seeing her flip in front of me. And so I, I'm going to be, I'm going to fast again to, you just, you just resonate at such a higher frequency that you just see more stuff and more things make sense. But So they're not supposed to get divorced. I cast this demon out of her. And there was still, there was still something in there. I have not, since I've done this though, I have not seen that same spirit in her since uh, I cast it out. And I knew I wasn't playing too. It told me that it was, it, it was pretty high up and had a lot of pull or something somewhere. I wish I would have asked it what its name was and some other questions, but it uh, it knew that I had the authority and it knew that I knew that. But then the spirits in people, okay, this is what I was this is what I was thinking about. The spirits in people, the bad ones that are put there through this mind control program. Cause I seriously, my wife didn't even remember any of the conversation that we had when I was talking to this other thing in her. And uh, so these evil spirits, they won't let them get saved. You know, they just, they, they're, they're just brainwashed or they're, they just, you know, won't allow them to say something like, so that's why I had her sign the thing because the person in there wants it. The person in there that's in there doesn't want to be evil and they don't even think they are. So I had her sign the paper that said that she intended to love God with all of her heart, mind, and soul and love her neighbor as herself. And she signed her name on it. And... Uh, And then, but then that night, it was still in there because, you know, the mouthy spirit, you can know, just. <laughs> so it, you have to repent. So I told her to repent. You know, of course, that night there she wouldn't. But then the next morning, before she went to work, I told her to repent for everything. I said, say that you repent for everything that you've ever done. And so she did that. And I'm, you know, I can't say for 100% sure, but it seems like she's beginning to be a different person already. She's happier. I mean, so I don't know for sure, but so I'm just playing it as it goes right now because I don't really know what to do about marrying my handler. <laughs> Other handlers in my life, I can cut them out, you know. But if you know who's a handler that's talking to you, then they don't, they're, they're already lost because you're not supposed to know that stuff. 
The, the, their stuff don't work when you actually know what they're doing. And here, they, they do not like me telling this either. They do not like me telling this. They've tried to set me up now and all kinds of stuff that uh, just, you know, I, I don't even got time to tell you about some of the stuff, but they are a bunch of cowards that do everything in the dark, behind the scenes, sneaking around, trying to hurt good people that, you know, they don't like me at all, and that's fine. Because I seriously don't like what they do. And I'm not going to stop. And they can't buy me out. I've never really had much of anything. The stuff I have now is the stuff that I got when I was pipe fitting back before I was all hurt and stuff. So, I mean, all of the stuff that was fun for me to do before has all been taken from me because of my back. But it was all a blessing. So... They can't buy me out with money, because I don't really care. I'll go sleep in the woods, you know? I'm just thankful for what I still have right now. But my father has allowed me to have a place to live. and But I know every, anything can change in the blink of an eye. So yeah, I don't know about the, this is all kind of new to me, this gang stalking stuff or whatever it is. I know it's all spiritual. It's uh, definitely, these puffball mushrooms here. Yeah, you can take these and slice them. Because they're like, they feel like a marshmallow kind of in here, but you, uh, this is before they get all fluffy and you know this is when it's still meaty and uh, you cut them into slices and then you fry them like an olive oil with salt and pepper and they're not too bad they do have kind of a strange texture but pretty good good edible mushroom lots of them around anyways so for all of my brothers and sisters out there I love all you guys I wish there was more more that I could do to help people you know to So, I will let you guys know things when I know them, and thanks for listening to me. I appreciate all you guys. See you, love you, bye.